Okay, Assalamualaikum uh, So, this is last uh, video from chapter 13 Okay, subtopic 13.2 Biotechnology Okay, this is because about the definition of biotechnology Okay, biotechnology is a field which utilizes technology or method to manipulate organism for the production of biological product. So biotechnology aims to improve the quality of livestock and crops as well as to develop the application of microorganism for specific purpose. Since biotechnology involves various disciplines of science, therefore each discipline that involves the use of living organism for a specific purpose is given a specific color code as shown in figure 13.3 here okay although there uh, 10 biotechnology activity are identified the main one uh, uh, the green white yellow and blue technology activity so the uh, moment uh, okay biotechnology ni satu bidang yang menggunakan teknologi dan uh, akan manipulasikan uh, organisma Okay, untuk menghasilkan satu produk biologi okay, Dia menggunakan teknologi pada organisma ataupun mikroorganisma Jadi uh, dia akan menambahkan lagi kualiti okay, Menambahkan kualiti dari segi uh, apa, tanaman dan sebagainya Kemudian uh, sebab dia melibatkan banyak uh, bidang di dalam sains Jadi dia diberikan uh, color okay, ataupun uh, warna eh kod warna okey kod warna seperti uh, food and nutrition is yellow okey uh, marine band biotechnology is blue okey uh, agriculture product is green okey environmental technology okey jadi uh, color yang uh, utama adalah uh, hijau putih kuning dan biru okey hijau agriculture putih industrial Okay, yellow adalah food and nutrition and blue uh, adalah marine biotechnology. So, let's discuss about the application of biotechnology in life. So, gene therapy. Gene therapy is used to treat or prevent genetic disease. In gene therapy, a normal gene is, in, is inserted into a into the patient to replace the abnormal gene. The, the diseases that can be cured uh, by gene therapy are cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy and a few types of cancer. So this is how the basic step in the gene therapy. A, norm, a cell with an abnormal genes here. Okay. Okay. Abnormal genes in, in the patient. Okay. And then insertion of the normal gene to, the, uh, to replace the abnormal gene using a virus. So, uh, in gene therapy, you, is we, it, we use virus as a vector. So, insert the normal gene here. And then, the, page, uh, the cell perform number normal function. So, this is the basic step in gene therapy. So, this is the how gene therapy uh, process. So, first cell harvest from the patient. Okay. Uh, cell diambil daripada pesakit. Kemudian, in the lab, virus is outer uh, so cannot reproduce. So, akan menggunakan virus. Kemudian, virus tu, uh, a gene is inserted into the virus. Okay. Uh, uh, normal gene ataupun yang healthy gene akan dimasukkan ke dalam virus. And then, the outer virus mix with the patient. Okay. With the patient cell. Okay. Yang virus yang telah diubah tadi, yang telah mengalami gene therapy tadi, akan dimasukkan ke dalam um, sel sakit. Kemudian sel tu akan menjadi genetically alter. Jadi sel itu akan dimasukkan semula ke dalam um, body patient. So DNA profiling. So this is the picture of DNA profiling. So DNA profiling is a technique used in forensic to identify individual based on their DNA. This is the this is due to the fact that an individual's DNA is unique except between identical twin. A human DNA set is different from animal. 
Okay, so an individual can be identified based on DNA obtained from his or her blood, semen, uh, or skin. So this is how uh, this is the application of DNA profiling. We can identify criminal, settle paternity and maternity dispute, identify genetic disease, and determine suitability of organ donor and recipient. Okay, uh, ni, uh, profile DNA ni adalah satu teknik yang digunakan dalam forensik eh, untuk menentukan identiti seseorang menggunakan DNA. Uh, disebabkan DNA setiap manusia ni uh, adalah uh, unik uh, kecuali pada uh, pasangan kembar seiras uh, dan apa nama ni uh, DNA manusia ni ada uh, berbeza dengan DNA uh, haiwan. Jadi uh, DNA boleh sampel-sampel DNA boleh diambil daripada darah ataupun sampel air mani ataupun sampel daripada kulit. Jadi a uh, uh, DNA profil DNA boleh digunakan untuk menentukan penjenayah, untuk menentukan uh, masalah dari segi a uh, apa paternity dengan maternity ataupun uh, siapa bapa, siapa uh, ibu dan masalah genetik dan juga Uh, apa, untuk mengetahui uh, uh, pendema organ yang sesuai ok this is how the DNA profiling ok DNA profiling ni uh, uh, DNA profiling as a strong evidence because the biological sample is obtained and processed correctly and cons consensusly the forensic scientist test the sample and analyze it meticulously in a transparent manner The test result are interpret precisely. The jury and judge obtain an accurate report. Okay, so this is how the uh, uh, apa DNA profiling. Eh, dia lakukan. Eh, ini adalah DNA suspek. Ini sperm daripada DNA daripada suspek dan ini adalah bukti. Okay, this is how uh, the DNA profiling is carried out. Okay, first blood or semen or skin sample is obtained from investigation scene such as crime scene. After that, DNA is extracted from the sample. And next, the restriction enzyme cut the DNA into different size of DNA fragment. And this DNA fragment are uh, different size are then separated by using gel electrophoresis. And then after that, DNA fragment of the different size are transfer from the gel to a nylon membrane. And then, radioactive frog are added to the nylon membrane. X-ray film is then placed on the top of nylon membrane. So, the X-ray film is processed to show the position of DNA bands uh, then from the DNA profile. Okay, so ini adalah langkah-langkah untuk uh, yang akan yang dilakukan di dalam uh, profil DNA. Eh. Di, uh, sampel diambil kemudian kemudian DNA akan diekstrak daripada uh, daripada sampel kemudian dia akan menggunakan enzim, okay, enzim yang uh, untuk memotong uh, DNA kepada DNA apa uh, fragment fragment DNA kemudian dia akan diletakkan ke dalam satu alat yang dipanggil gel electrophoresis okey untuk memisahkan uh, DNA fragment tadi kemudian DNA fragment tadi dia akan dipindahkan ke atas satu membran dia panggil uh, nylon membrane kemudian dia akan menggunakan radioaktif probe eh, uh, untuk uh, Hybridation of DNA, kemudian dia akan proses dalam bentuk X-ray film seperti di dalam gambar rajah ini. So, this is the electrophoresis gel. Okay, ini adalah mesin yang dipanggil electrophoresis. So, DNA sampel yang dapat daripada DNA sampel yang datang daripada crime scene tadi akan diambil dan diletakkan ke dalam Uh, well yang ada kat sini eh. okay. kemudian dia akan sambung kepada uh, power supply okay. so bila disambung dengan power supply DNA itu akan dipisahkan okay. hmm, bila dia pisahkan dia akan dapat uh, bending yang seperti ini
Okay, uh, this is the example how to determine issue of paternity and maternity. Okay, so look at to the uh, the band. Okay, mom. Okay, the band of from mom and then the, the band from dad. So we can see that. Okay, D one is biological daughter. Okay, uh, because D one have a band from mother and band from father. Okay, D two uh, is step daughter. Okay, step daughter, child of mom and her uh, and her former has uh, husband. Right. So dia ada kat sini uh, di dua ni hanya ada dia uh, band daripada ibu saja tidak mempunyai band daripada ayah. Ini adalah anak tiri. Okay, uh, daripada uh, ibu i, ibunya mempunyai suami yang sebelum ni. Okay. Kemudian S S one son number one is the real son. Okay, balik juga son sebab dia ada dua dua. Uh, okay, ada band daripada uh, ayah dan juga band daripada ibu. Okay, S two is Adopted son and not biological related. Okay, so this is the example uh, how to uh, use the DNA profiling. Okay, uh, the the band number eight is mom. Okay, number nine and number ten is identical twin. So number eleven is dad. Okay, look at to the band. Uh, is related uh, to the identical twin and the mum. Okay, nombor 12 dengan nombor 13 adalah tidak uh, sepadan dengan uh, DNA strand daripada ibu ataupun pasangan kembar ini. Okay, this is example of crime scene. Okay, who is the suspect? Okay. Okay. So we can see the band. Okay, crime scene. Uh, either suspect one or suspect two is same as crime scene. Okay, we can see ah uh, suspect one. Okay, suspect one is same as crime scene. Uh, the bending is same. Okay, production of insect tolerant plant. Okay. So example of the uh, biotechnology, okay. So this is the picture of BT corn or non BT corn and the BT cotton and non BT cotton. So farming cotton breed with high yield and assistance to pests such as BT cotton in cotton farm has reduced the use of pesticide. Okay. The BT is injected with gene with uh, from bacillus during the Turigensis, a BT, a type of soil bacteria that secret toxin. This effort has saved cost by reducing the use of pesticide and also increase the cotton yield. Beside cotton, the BT corn has a BT crop, a corn and brinjol. Okay, jadi uh, ini adalah satu uh, penghasilan uh, tumbuh-tumbuhan yang uh, boleh uh, yang uh, tahan dengan uh, apa nama ni kita panggil uh, serangga perosak okey uh, dia akan tahan dengan serangga perosak jadi uh, macam mana dia nak, uh, nak 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 hasilkan bitikon ataupun bitikoten ni adalah uh, dia akan inject dengan gen bacillus thuringiensis iaitu sejenis bakteria yang akan menghasilkan toksin jadi apabila um, apabila um, serangga perosak Okay, makan uh, BT corn atau BT cotton ni dia akan mati okay. Gene that produce BT toxin uh, from bacillus during genesis is uh, inserted into plant genome okay. BT gene insert into the corn Pest feed on the plant which produce BT toxin okay. uh, Pest akan makan Okay uh, makanan uh, apa jagung yang punya BT toxin so toxin affect the digestive system and pest uh, kill the okay pest will die when feeding on the uh, any part of the plant of BT corn so this is uh, another application uh, cleaning of oil spill 
Okay, bio uh, the process is called bio remediation. It's a method use which uses bacteria to clean up environmental pollution. It is effective to treat oil spillage in the ocean. Most molecules in crude oil and purified oil product uh, product can be degraded by bacteria. For example, alkonivirate borcumensis uh, uh, is a type of bacteria that depends on the on oil for its source of energy is widely used to treat the oil spill. Okay, nah, masalah tumpahan minyak ni uh, boleh menggunakan uh, bacteria alkonivirate ni. Okay, sebab bakteria alkalimurat ni uh, dia bergantung pada minyak sebagai sumber tenaganya. Jadi cara dia adalah dia akan inject mikrob ke dalam kawasan yang mempunyai uh, tumpahan minyak. So uh, mikrob tadi alkalimurat ni akan uh, akan memecahkan molekul-molekul minyak ni. Okay, uh, jadi dia akan membersihkan kawasan tersebut. Importance of biotechnology in life. Biotechnology is often associated with agriculture, industry, nutrition, medicine and other fields. Rapid development in biology and technology has replaced the old method with the current and sophisticated approach in producing many types of products that benefit humans. Besides contributing uh, to increase the yield in food, agriculture and medicine, biotechnology also improves a country's economy specifically in industrial sector. So this is contribution of biotechnology to life. In agriculture, you produce the best livestock and crop breeds. This tissue culture method and cloning technique have expanded plant reproduction. Produce paddies, uh, varieties which give more yield and mature faster. Animal cloning enable mass reproduction and produce disease resistant clone. Use of hormone expanded, expanded animal growth and maturity. In medicine, we can modify the genetic content of an individual, reduce risk of mental disease, prevent specific disease such as cancer and heritage disease. Human with dwarf genetic can be normal children, assist mother when, uh, with difficulty to conceive. In forensic, can identify the criminal based on the tissue. Uh, and body fluid such as blood, semen, skin and hair follicle. And lastly, in environment, uh, micro can expand it the care of waste product created by human. Micro can also degrade feces completely. Okay, then last one, produce pollution and to protect human and environment. So, ini adalah sumbangan uh, bidang biotechnology dalam kehidupan Malaysia dari dalam pertanian akan uh, uh, akan menghasilkan satu uh, produk uh, yang uh, baik uh, di mana teknik uh, tisu kultur dan juga teknik klon okay. menghasilkan banyak variati uh, pokok-pokok seperti pokok padi eh, yang mempunyai um, hasil yang lebih banyak dan boleh uh, matang dengan lebih cepat okay. Mudah dalam bidang perubatan juga akan boleh uh, uh, me, me, mengubah genetik uh, yang ada uh, yang ada unhealthy genetik contohnya macam gen terapi tadi okay. boleh merawat uh, setengah uh, penyakit seperti kanser atau penyakit-penyakit keturunan okay. boleh mengubah, mengubah ataupun uh, Genetik-genetik yang mengalami kekedilan kepada uh, kanak-kanak yang memang okay. Dari segi forensik akan dapat menentukan uh, penjenayah Dan juga dari segi alam sekitar uh, boleh uh, mempercepatkan okay. uh, proses decomposition ataupun proses penguraian uh, uh, bahan buangan yang dihasilkan oleh manusia dan juga dapat mengurangkan uh, pencemaran. Okay, that's all. Thank you.